Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am your favorite person and of course your favorite YouTuber. My name is Sanishri and I am back with another video. So today's video is all about affirmations. How do you do, how do you make your own affirmations so that you manifest your desires even faster? And if you want me to help you in your manifestation journey, I do provide one-on-one -on -one coaching. Do drop me an email which is mentioned in the description box below and I'll get back to you. There are hundreds of affirmations available on the internet whether you search on Pinterest, Instagram or even Google you'll get so many different affirmations for each part or like each thing in your life whether it be money, whether it be health, it can be anything but which affirmation should you use for you to get more results as in you know faster results you can see should be created by you i believe because you know a lot of you guys uh, ask me that what affirmation did i use to get that and what affirmations did i do to get the other thing and how many times did i affirm and all of these things first thing i need to clear that if those affirmations work for me it is not necessary that it will work for you it is just like different manifestations methods like there are affirmations visualization and so many other techniques if one works for me it is not necessary that the the same method will work for you because we all are different beings we have different mindset we have different concepts of everything in our mind we already have so many different perceptions of things around us so that is the reason you need to make your own affirmations so how do you do that first thing sit in a quiet place just do this activity with me sit in a quiet place take a few deep breaths and close your eyes imagine whatever you want in your life like whatever person you want to be in your life is you right now just close your eyes and imagine that the person you want to be the person you want to be in the next five years the things you want in your life are there in your life right now in this present moment just be right there and feel that emotion that those feelings that situation and feel everything around how does it feel and the first person you told about the that success it can be a job it can be um a specific amount of money it can be your specific person like whenever that good thing happened whenever your desire happened who was the first person you told that about was it your mother your best friend or your father or your friends it can be anything okay are you with me are you imagining that okay so who was it for you your best friend your family member and what did you tell them what did you tell them that what did you get how did you convey your message to them that you made that thing happen? You bought that new house, you bought that new car, you got that dream job, you are all healthy right now. How did you convey that message? The language you used, the words you used. Like for example, I'll, I'll give you an example. For someone it can be hey mom i made it i got this new car or and for someone else it can be hey friend or hey whatever um uh, i got my dream job like the every time every person expresses their feelings in different ways so that is how you are unique and that's how the the sentence the line you used convey that message to your loved one is your affirmation it can be anything it can be in your own language it can be in english or any other language it can have any words you use in your day to life day to day life it it should be you so that i'll tell you the importance of making affirmations by yourself 
first thing if you make your own affirmations it will make you feel, feel more real and your mind will be more uh, you know used to hearing those uh, words like for example my mother tongue is marathi and uh, if i affirm i do affirm in english hindi or marathi it completely depends but i am very familiar with all of these three languages but if you are someone who only speaks marathi or hindi you should go ahead and affirm in your language in your mother tongue and that will be much more easier to accept by your subconscious mind than just picking anybody else's affirmations of course you can use somebody else's affirmations and it can work it can work as an as inspiration you can see because you will have that assumption that if this person have given me affirmations it will definitely work for them or if she can do it if she affirms these and she got it i can get that too of course you can do it but if you make your own affirmation it will be more natural for you to accept the feeling of the things already being around you the more natural you feel about the things the faster you'll get the results be easy be don't make your affirmations too complicated just use the sentence you will use to convey that message to your loved one and that is all that is your affirmation keep affirming that very sentence in your mind over and over again saturate maybe you can decide for 5 minutes or 10 minutes from a day that you are going to affirm at this this time slot in a day and just do that just affirm 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 do it over and over again and yes like literally saturate your mind like once you uh, i know you'll get negative thoughts you will get so many thoughts uh, in your mind like just like when you start doing meditations you have thousands of thoughts and your mind runs behind all of them and you don't know what to do but eventually you try to calm your mind and you try to focus on one thing that is when you you know uh, get used to meditation and get used to a feeling that calmness in your body so this is what we do we will just keep on practicing we'll repeat it over and over again we'll try mindfulness activities to keep our mind calm just like mindful meditation there are lots of meditations on youtube you can do that and just stay calm don't run behind thoughts it's okay even if you run just get back to the same position again whenever there is a problem in your life remember the problem is you how you are reacting or how you are responding to that uh, situation it is completely in your mind it is completely in your thoughts and affirmations is nothing but thoughts your thoughts you're changing your thoughts you're trying to change that thought pattern in your mind trying to be more positive and be more present in the moment and living in that end living in the end is nothing but just feeling the what we did before like using all of your senses whether it's seeing smelling touching every little sense in your body to be in that moment where the things you want are actually there present right now and yeah if you do that on every single day uh, day i am very 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 sure you will definitely get what you want and if you don't waver right of course you uh, like for 5 minutes if you saturate your mind with the best ever affirmations and the best ever thoughts and the next moment you are like oh but i i really uh, don't think that will happen or i really hope it will happen or i don't know if i deserve it if you keep wavering and if you keep doubting yourself how do you expect that that those hours of negative thinking will even uh, stand in front of your 5 minutes saturation the 5 minutes you are using you need to be constant in the feeling you are having the you know, the feeling of being happy of course whatever you want you if you get that right now you'll be happy won't you so we want to 
persist in that feeling and be happy always and believe in ourselves like changing our mindset is really important and how can you change that by affirming repeatedly affirming it works guys it works just do it without wavering like some discipline in your life you, you can't just say that i am affirming for an hour and the rest of eight hours in the day you are doubting and uh, complaining that won't work and ask any of them any of the coach your like if i do that and i still like, keep affirming but in the back of the mind my inner self is telling no i can't do it you won't be able to do it just know that so yeah that is all for today's video and i know you guys love this video do like share and comment subscribe and see you guys in the next video bye